Hey everybody, welcome back to Taz's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One, here to empower and inspire your wig journey. Today we're going to talk a little bit about the Tony Bratton brand, and I have a brand new style release by Tony Bratton to take out of the packaging and show you this is called Sensational. There's a lot to know about the options on this brand, and I'm also making this a part of my affordable series. Find out why coming up. I purchased this wig from Wig Studio One. You can find the entire Tony Bratton line at Wig Studio One. All you have to do is go below this video, expand the description box. I will attach a link directly to the style that I'm reviewing, as well as the other Tony Bratton styles. If you click on that link, it'll take you out to the site where you can explore the colors, the options, and the pricing of these wig styles. If you have any questions for us, please reach out to support at wigstudio1.com. And don't forget to join us on the Wig Studio One YouTube channel, which has the most variety of any wig channel out there on YouTube. There's a private Facebook group called the Wig Studio One Wig and Topper Support Group, as well as a well-appointed Instagram page. All of those links are below the video as well. With the Tony Bratton line, I would consider most of the styles available in that line to be very affordable. Um, there's no lace, there's no monofilament features on these styles. They're all pretty much just open cap styles, very easy to wear. Most of them, if not all of them, feature a heat friendly fiber that you can style. Um, and there's just, like I say, so easy to wear. In terms of the options that Tony Bratton offers, you will typically find both a, an average size cap and a large size cap option on each of their styles. So if you're looking for a large of any of the styles that I'm showing you today, you can go out in my link, which is the Tony, find all Tony Bratton styles at Wig Studio One to search all of that. Very, very easy to find. So let's talk today about their newest release, which is Sensational. I think they have several others, but I chose this one because guess what? It's curly. <laughs> <laughs> it has curls. So we're going to take a look at it. It should be a, a, shoot, a short little curly wedged bob. And I'm so excited. Oh, I do want to point also point out also that I think it was last year they went to this new packaging. And so all of the wigs you will find are in a clear Ziploc type bag, very sturdy and heavy duty. And then there is a cardboard form inside to protect the wig and hold it hold its shape and all of your tags and packaging and disclosures and maintenance pamphlets are located within. It's always been sufficient. Uh, they used to have boxes, a little cake box types type of uh, box for their packaging. So we're going to take this out. Now, I immediately drew the conclusion that the Tony Bratton line was pretty much hairdo, just different types of styles. Are you familiar with the hairdo brand? The hairdo brand also is a more of an affordable line. It features open and traditional cap styles, um, but I prefer the Tony Bratton brand because of the color options. Um, the sizing is similar, but uh, Hairdo hair does not offer two sizes for each style. They just offer their average, which tends to be large on me. So I am very comfortable in the Tony Bratton line, and they offer my favorite color, which is light blonde. All you shaded Raquel Welch shaded biscuit lovers will love the light blonde by Tony Bratton. I feel like it's the same color. Interestingly enough, the Tony Bratton line, the hairdo line, and Raquel Welch are all made by Hair You Wear, which is the parent company. Okay, so here we are, right out of the box. All those curls are uh, very tightly bound to that cap. We're going to wake them up, but first let's take a look at the inside of cap real quick. So this is a completely open cap, but some beautiful, very comfortable features. So you'll see that velvet piece right at the front, a hidden weft right at the hairline, open exposed wefting on the top, sides and back, uh, an open ear tab with really long sturdy stays. That is one substantial ear tab there. An open extended uh, nape and 
I was distracted by this. There are Velcro style adjusters, which I love. Um, I feel like <clears throat> that is an upgrade to from any other uh, adjuster application that is being used on the market. Um, <clears throat> there's not a whole lot of stretch on this one, but I will assess the fit without making any adjustment when I try it on. But this is a substantial cap. I feel like this is uh, really well made. Okay, so what do we do? We wake it up, especially this curl, right? But I wanna set free the movement. Now this is a heat friendly fiber. You can tell right away that it's a heat friendly fiber. It feels very much like, let's say Raquel Welch's True to Life fiber. Um, you can take heat to this. They recommend, I think, around 280 as a heat setting, but it is heat friendly. It says up to 350. Um, my goal for using heat, I avoid using heat on my wigs because it, it does give a little wear and tear. But if I have to use heat on a wig, I use as little heat for the, little, the least amount of time to achieve my result. Okay, so this is sensational. I'm gonna go ahead and try it on for you now and then we're gonna fix it. And look at the fit. Oh, it's adorable. I haven't done anything with it yet, but I think it's adorable. Cute little short wedge back. Big ringlet type curls there. Kind of smooth there at the crown, but assessing the fit. So this seems completely average to me in terms of fit. Now we are all different. <clears throat> I could be completely average in circumference, but be a little larger in front to back and ear to ear and need a large, okay? You know yourself better than anyone. Uh, but based on my measurements being more petite average in all three, uh, this fits me a little bit big. So I know I'm gonna have to remove it and make an adjustment so that it doesn't roll around while I'm trying to do this review. Okay, back with you now. It does feel very snug on the head now. So I was able to make a nice secure feeling adjustment. I'm not noticing any baggy cap anywhere on this one. So from what I can see, and I do have a mirror here now, so I'm gonna check this out a little in my handy dandy mirror in my, new, in my new set. If you haven't caught my video on my new set, I give you a complete tour of the set. We talk a little bit about the changes and then I give you um, a tour of my basement renovations because that's where I'm at now. And like I say, I hate to call it a basement because it's, it's everybody says, just call it the lower level. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna call it the lower level. Cute, right? Oh my goodness. So <clears throat> I know that I'm not gonna get any uh, lift here or contour at the front. These bangs have a perpetual forward movement. They are meant to hug the forehead. So in terms of length, they're about three inches and three inches is just the perfect little what I call eyebrow bang. So it kind of hugs the forehead, comes down off of that cap and you can sweep it off to either side. Now, depending on how much you pull back this cap, you might be able to get a straight down bang as well. But if you ask me, I think it's just a better look by sweeping it off to one side or the other. Now, because of the open wefts on the top, you really don't have, have to designate a parting space. In that case, all I do is I just get in there and I just kind of pick and fluff that top and fling those hairs around up there. That makes them really nice and wispy looking. We don't wanna make it appear that they're just matted to the head, right? And then this curl. So <clears throat> this curl, I mean, it's really curly. Um, in the back, you're gonna see a three inch nape. So for those of you out there that need longer than a two inch nape and three inches is three inches or longer is your sweet spot. You're really, really gonna like this one. And the crown is six inches, it weighs about three ounces. It's really, really lightweight on. But this curl, so I can't keep my eyes off of it. I just wanna break it up a little. I wanna use the heat from my hand to sculpt. So I like a little bit of a slimmer profile around the ear. <clears throat> 
And then I like the curl in its full glory in the back. It's got a cute little profile. How cute. If I had to describe it in a word, it'd be cute because it's short and it's curly. It's youthful. <clears throat> I like a little bit of a looser curl around the face. Well, I can really achieve whatever I want here, it looks like, with just the heat heat of my hand. I have not seen the back of this wig yet, <clears throat> but now that I have a mirror, I can look. Lots and lots of curl. You can definitely see that the <clears throat> there's a wedge back there. The nape is ample. So I would just probably separate this curl just as much as I possibly could. Just because I don't want it to look like a fresh perm, you know? I want it to be a little more relaxed and casual. So I'll just do a quick spin for you here so you can see this up close from all angles. Then we'll do some styling. some styling for Tony Bratton sensational. What I need to mention here is it's just an average density and it has very little permatease surprisingly. A lot of curly styles out there especially ones with open caps have a lot of permatease and this one is very modest um, in terms of permatease. You're going to find just enough permatease to cover wefting here. Uh, there's nothing thick, heavy, or pillowy based on the piece that I have. So I'm expecting it to work well with my glasses. It does. I can get an ear tuck and my glasses arms very comfortably and securely between the ear and the ear tap. So I'm just going to move this around and fluff it out a little bit and have some fun with it. And thank you so much for joining me today. We'll see you again soon on Tass's Wig Closet at Wig Studio One.